we want to solve the equation 4x equals 8 sevenths. 4x means 4 times x, and therefore the solution to the equation is the value of x that makes this product equal to 8 sevenths. And we'll take a look at two methods for solving this equation. In order to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation, and because the x is on the left side, our solution will be in the form of x equals some value. Again, where this value will make this product equal to 8 sevenths. This equation is a little bit different because notice how we have a fraction on the right side of the equation. So if we wanted to make 4 a fraction, we would have a denominator of 1. So we could write this as 4 over 1 times x equals 8 sevenths. And again, because 4x means 4 times x, we need to undo this multiplication by performing the inverse or opposite operation of multiplying by 4. Well, to undo multiplying by 4, we would divide by 4, and therefore we could divide both sides of the equation by 4. But remember, dividing by 4, or dividing by 4 over 1, is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 1 fourth. So because we have a fraction on the right side of the equation, instead of dividing by 4, let's multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fourth instead. So we'll multiply the left side of the equation by 1 fourth, and the right side of the equation by 1 fourth. Again, this operation is equivalent to dividing by 4, which will undo this multiplication involving 4 here. So now looking at the left side of the equation, notice how we're multiplying reciprocals. So this product will be 1, and therefore the left side simplifies nicely to just 1x, and 1x is just x. Let's go ahead and put 1x temporarily, just to emphasize the product of reciprocals is equal to 1, which we can also show by showing the simplification. 4 over 4 would simplify it to 1 over 1, giving us a product of 1. And now on the right side, notice how before multiplying, 8 and 4 share a common factor of 4. There's 1, 4, and 4, and 2, 4 is an 8, and therefore the product on the right side is just 2 sevenths. And again, because 1x is equal to x, our solution is x equals 2 sevenths. Now let's look at a second method for solving this equation. Starting with the original equation, we have 4x equals 8 sevenths. Whenever we have an equation that contains fractions, we always have the option of clearing the fractions from the equation. Looking at our notes below, to clear the fractions from an equation, we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator. In this case, we only have one denominator at 7, and therefore we can clear the fractions from the equation by multiplying both sides by 7. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's multiply the left side by 7 and the right side by 7. Well, 7 times 4x is equal to 28x. On the right side, again, this 7 would have a denominator of 1. We have a common factor of 7 between the numerator and denominator, so both 7s simplify to 1. Notice how on the right, the product is equal to 8. Notice how the equation does not solve for x yet, but our solution once again will be in the form of x equals some value that makes this product equal to eight. And therefore to solve the equation for x, we need to undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 28. 28 divided by 28 simplifies to one, and one times x is x. We can also think of this as dividing by 28 undoes the multiplication by 28, giving us just x. And on the right side of the equation, we have the fraction 8 28ths, but this fraction does simplify. There's a common factor of four between eight and 28. So notice how if we divide the numerator and denominator by four, to simplify the fraction, eight divided by four equals two, and 28 divided by four equals seven, giving us our solution x equals two sevenths. So of course, both methods give us the same solution. Before we go though, let's verify our solution is correct by substituting two sevenths into the original equation. Let's verify that four times two sevenths does equal eight sevenths. Well as a fraction, four would have a denominator of one, so multiplying the numerators, notice how we have eight. Multiplying the denominators, we have seven. Eight sevenths equals eight sevenths is true verifying our solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.